Welcome to our YouTube video series on mastering dynamic date formulas in Microsoft Excel. We'll dive into the powerful world of date formulas that will revolutionize the way you generate reports in Excel. In this tutorial, we will discuss the dated if function. This powerful date function in Excel calculates the difference between two dates. The syntax of the formula is as follows. Dated if, start date, end date, and unit. The start date and end date can be determined using a formula or by selecting a date cell. The unit returns either the number of days, months, or years. To return the number of days, we would use D as the unit, months would be an M, and Y for years. For example, to find the number of days between January 1st, 2023, and today, type the equal sign. Dated if, open parentheses, date, open parentheses, 2023, comma, 1, comma, 1, closed parenthesis, comma, today, open parenthesis, closed parenthesis, comma, quotation mark, D, quotation mark, closed parenthesis. To find the number of months between the same dates, use M as the unit. To find the number of years, use Y. To replace the start date with a date from an existing cell, we would replace the start date we entered, 2023, 1, 1, with a reference to the cell containing the date we would like to use. For example, if the start date we wanted to use was in cell B1, we would type the equal sign. Dated if, open parentheses, B1, comma, today, open parenthesis, closed parenthesis, comma, quotation mark, D, quotation mark, closed parenthesis. To replace the end date with a date from an existing cell, we would replace the today, open parentheses, closed parentheses portion of the formula with a reference to the cell we would like to use. For example, replace it with C1 to change the end date to the date referenced in cell C1. We hope this tutorial helps you master date formulas in Excel. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel, SmartLink Basics, for more tutorials and tips.